Okay, so this video is all about just getting the wooden furniture and some plastic furniture ready for the summer, uh, cleaning it up, putting some new life into it, and uh, we'll be using a pressure washer for that. Right, so this is the Karcher K5 pressure washer, which is the one that I'm using to clean all the furniture, and I'll put a link to it in the description. So let's just have a closer look before I get started in earnest. And we can see what the result's going to be like afterwards. You can just see everything's just caked on. As you can see, anybody can use this, even my young son, who's having a great deal of fun. Go on. Right, there we have it, I finished it, got the centre section out, cleaned that down. Now it'll never be the table that it was, uh, we actually, we got this when we got married about 15 years ago and uh, it served as well, although we haven't looked after it like we should have done, there's no teak oil been put on in the last probably 12 or 13 years, so it's our own fault that it's in the state that it is. But pressure washer has brought it back to some semblance of, uh, of normality we'll let it dry out and have a look at it all right so we're all done and dusted with the power washing everything's dried now and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some linseed oil on the top of it and around the edge just to see us through the summer and all that is a case so just put some on and rub it in Hopefully, I'll have enough. Now, I could have done this with uh, with a brush would be better, but I'm a bit limited in all honesty on just how much of this I've got, so I might even only get half of it done, which is unfortunate. But let's get it done. Okay, so on the right hand side is what I've briefly touched up with the linseed oil. The centre bit hasn't been touched up at all yet, but that, that's been hidden um, from the elements. So I might not touch that just yet. And over on the right hand side, that's what hasn't been done yet. So we'll just get that done. But as you can see, the pressure washing and the quick clean up is making a hell of a difference. You can see where uh, where some of the wood where some of the wood was rotten, and it's taken uh, the pressure washer's taken quite a bit of the surface away. Right, okay. So that's it. Um, leave that to soak in. It would have been nice if, I, if I'd have had more because I would have put it on with a brush and really allowed it to soak in and nourish the wood. But unfortunately that's not the case. So we'll just have to, uh, just have to leave it like that until I can get my hands on some more. Right then, so that's it. Uh, that went further than I thought it was going to do. So I probably will do the center actually, but um, it's all married up in color at the moment. So I'm going to leave it. However, the patina's back. It's clean, it's more than usable. And for the sake of a, a pressure wash, uh, I've brought this back to life, so I'm really impressed. Right, so these are the first few chairs done on the table you saw me doing earlier. Pretty much all the lichens off. Um, obviously the wood is is old or older. I said this, this set's over 15 years old. Absolutely amazing how it's come up though. Really, really good. And the table as well. Obviously, you can see where it's taken some of the surface wood off, but that was rotten wood anyway. Uh, the rest of it is fine. And this is the wood that was actually uh, hidden the centre section. And the jet washing of that, that's not taken anything off because the wood wasn't rough. So, yeah, just some uh, few more chairs and some uh, 
some side tables to do. Okay, so we use the uh, linseed oil, but now I've got hold of this tea coat and it's absolutely fantastic. I've already done this table and it's really soaked in. Uh, so let's just have a look and I'll show you on this one when my son's doing it. Just hang on. You can see it soaking in there. And that's really getting into the grain, that. What that's doing is, it's not only sealing it, but it's, um, it's, it's like when you're really thirsty and you have a drink, it's almost doing the same as that. We'll just do this other one over here so that you can see how it soaks in again. Put it on nice and thick. It's just tea coil, so it's, it's not colouring it as such. All it's doing is it's just giving its natural colour back. It's nourishing the wood. You can see here where it's really soaked in and where it's sat on the surface. So where it's soaked in there, that's where you're just going to run some more over it, just on that edge there. So what we'll do is we'll. Uh, We'll let this soak in completely and then we'll give it another going over again. So these side tables will be done then. Okay, so as well as the wooden furniture, we've got some other bits and pieces. We've got a, a canvas uh, hanging rocker chair there that goes onto this. And we've also got some, these seats go together and then you put cushions on them. So they're, uh, they've got strapping on them to to support the cushions etc now what these had on was mildew just like just like this here and the power washer or the cartridge whichever you want to call it uh that just jets that off with uh, with great ease then we just need to leave them to dry okay so let's continue washing the uh the plastic stuff <laughs> We're just going to do the uh, this one as well. This is the before and after. Absolutely perfect. No mildew. Well, that's just a quick go over that. Those two. Uh, just to let it dry and I could see any more I could do it again so no so that's pretty much all ready now just need to get it out and the cushions on when the weather starts we'll see what it can do with this as well we have a look at it it's all mildew on it and stains leaves just all the uh, all the winter debris okay so I've just started on it and as you can see already this is the bit that I've done this is the line where I've stopped and it's just taking off all the mildew and it's making uh, a real difference so let's let's carry on down now right so that's that jet washed and it's come out perfectly and it's even you won't be able to see it until it dries but the cloth down the side is taking all the mildew off there as well in fact there's a bit of mesh you can see the mildew and you can see the cloth so I'll just go over that now and there's the hanging chair all dried off now it's really brought the colour out got rid of all the uh, the lichen that was on it so that's excellent fantastic all set for summer we've got that finished and I'll just bring it round we've got the plastic uh, cushions have been on and been off in the rain they're currently off and there's the, the swing hammock
So, great summer we're waiting for you.